Okay, there we go. Uh, Windows being stupid. Simply as that. And After I the drivers updated, sound. the computer restarted, but that didn't actually fix everything. It, it needed to be hard booted down and booted back up. So, yeah, we'll just go for a shorter stream then. Okay. That's your. Is there I any hear other sound. sounds from this? Okay, it sounds sound. awfully it, it low for good. me. Yes, yeah, same, and I, I have it very high up at the moment. Normally, this one would um... The situation on Meridian is dire. Oh, but the Emperor okay. did not need his space marines to fight battles that were easy. Administrator DeRosa has given us the keys to Angel Forge. Yeah, we've heard that before. Okay, so that dialogue is normal. At okay. least. Let me double check things, because it shouldn't be this soft. Yeah. Uh, no. Where's the. Right. Did it screw with the output? Let's see. Sounds. Uh, Hide oh, this again sure, for a bit. Was the volume of the, when he spoke was just fine. Just everything else was, was rather low. It's again shouldn't be a thing. Let's see. That's at 100%. And this Maybe is at 100%. Thing. It's. Again, which should not be the case. Okay, let, let's just try and work with this. Let's see, we have Typhon with the priority target for Ripper Splitter, so we can go after the... <clears throat> we can go after the Astronomic Array, so we can actually find the weakness in the Hive Swarm, or the Hive Fleet. And we still have a Shrine to capture there, so let's go over there. I think with Angel Forge, we are one mission away from finishing that off. Maybe two. Also, pardon you. Think, wait, you heard that? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Mike lied. Hmm. Or... No. Shall we finish Angel Gate or chase after the astrono uh, Astronomic Array, which will still take a few... Uh, Still take a few missions to get to. I see. Let's say that one has three days left. And we have unlimited time on Angel Gate, correct? Yes. All right, then we talk. Oh, unlimited until Swedish this fails. Right. <laughs> right. The Totobi defa. Let's just go there then. Everything the foundry. <laughs> Why did yeah, you go Swedish? Because we're both so frustrated because Windows just being a fucking idiot company, even though they practically have... Now, they don't have a monopoly, but they might as well. Commander, the major gate in the Angel Forge um. defensive wall is open. The Tyranid swarm is pouring through, and we also have reports that orc looters are operating in the area. Unless the gate is closed and the enemy driven back, Angel Forge is doomed. Only the Emperor's Space Marines can seal Angel Gate. Let's see. Orcs and eliminated orcs and tyranids while they fight each other. How are we on gear? Give me a sec. I can hear some claws at the door. Oh dear, the tyranid is all at his door already. <laughs> no, it's saying it he's been creeping in every day now for the last. Well, this will make it number four. Okay, she just wants. Yeah, she just wants to be left. <laughs> She just wants to lay at my feet and get tickled. Alright. Okay, now she's expecting inspecting my shoes. Anyways, yeah, she's been uh, visiting on. to sleep in my bed the last three days. You tickle her with your shoes? No, with my toes. Because I, I don't, I'm not wearing them. Alright, better, better. Otherwise I'll be a bit concerned. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, we last time we went to get this, the chorus of resolve, but then we learned that <laughs> Thule is two levels low for this. So yeah, that does have me thinking that we are kind of speedrunning the game. 
since the, the gear we're getting is being dropped at higher levels than we are. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see about getting that another time. For now though, uh, yeah, I think this will be our basic squad from now on. With that the Commander, me? Tarkus, Avatus, and Davian too. And yes, that's a heavy plasma. <laughs> For who? Two guesses. Me? No. <laughs> Avatus. Let's see. Keep them oh. in the line of fire. Suppression fire Wait, slows down units, forces to, forcing them to remain in your area of fire for longer. <laughs> Attention. Zeno attack imminent. All residents report to designated hub shelters without delay. Display identity badges at all times. Report Zeno sightings without delay. Remember, the faithful shall have the Emperor's protection. I think you'll need a bit more than that. <laughs> now, where'd she, she... Okay, she jumped up on the bed. She typically doesn't like being on the bed. Commander, base defenses failed almost 20 minutes ago. What of the base gates? The power supply failed. This silenced base guns and left the guardsmen dangerously exposed. The same generators power the gates. Angel Gate must be closed or the forge will fall. I am relaying the generator coordinates to your map display. You must activate at least three of them to close Angel Gate. Some Imperial Guard squads are still fighting the enemy, Commander. Cowering behind closed doors is more likely, Thaddeus. Cowards, one and all. Tools of the Emperor are meant to be used, not wasted. Agreed, Tarkas. We should provide assistance if we can. There! Okay. More survivors! Commander, Sergeant Merrick, 85th Vendelet. You have my thanks. Okay, yeah, we have a side objective to rescue some guardsmen. Though, well, it's a side objective, so not required. Other than that, we need to go activate these generators. Pretty sure we can guess how they uh, were disabled. Something in the ducks below us. Rippers. Ambush. Raveter, the Rippers oh, and Raveners. <laughs> and yeah, they're just popping out every freaking where. The yeah, they shouldn't last much. Well, under all of this, anyways. <laughs> Even this little only gets to port them a bit. I you see your eyes. Space Marines are huge. And yep. Raveners are that big. Yep. Oh boy. How many have died in this spire alone? Orc wreckage okay. near that generator. Expect green skin looters ahead. You mean you swore to take our flash generator? Looters! Looting in the middle of a flash generator. <laughs> Savages to the end. Tem Ooh, tempest of fire, and it's that's a storm bolter. That's terminator gear. Okay. Easy enough. But these do take longer to capture than usual. Well done, Commander. Two more generators and Angel Gate can close. Oh. <laughs> There's a foundry here we could have caught and captured at the start. Okay. Tarkers, grenades. You have this. You have your targets. So you have the okay. Probably, probably should have swapped him back to the rocket launcher. Okay. Oh dear. But uh, against the dreadnoughts, you could if you <laughs> if you saw its health bar there, you can see that <laughs> tool tool does quite a lot of damage against vehicles. Okay. Another generator here, and then one there, and then we can move to the center. Where we well will need to close the damn gates. Oh dear. And it kinda makes sense since well the face of that thing is basically a battering ram. 
Yep. And a crusher? Literally garbage crusher for ants even. Yep. Okay, I probably should have re-equipped different stuff on the Force Commander, since he's still mostly anti-vehicle. Blade of Zeal. Didn't we see that before? Yeah. Come on, Thule. <laughs> Get to it. Okay. You two uh, deal with that one. And yeah, we'll just have to use our typical strategies, though. Yeah. Our squad is pretty well armed. One more, and Angel Gate can be closed. So yeah, th this game start. Mm. If you go high enough with the difficulty, you, this game will be tough from start to finish. But the way that... Uh, oh, I didn't notice them there. Uh, the way we've been getting a lot better equipment, well, it shows in how much less strategic we need to be with moving around, huh? We have better strategic in general. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least in oh, trying hello. to. Undeniable hammer of truth. It's no God's player, but I'll take it. Okay. Hmm. I probably should send someone back to go capture that. Green skins coming out of the tunnels. Uh, where's Oh, there's Avatus. He went the other way around. Okay, focus fire. But it's also the the upgrades and the stats that are helping a lot. Because I don't think the enemies really get that much stronger. They, they get levels as well. But I think because we're on easy, their uh, progression is a lot slower than ours. Possibly. And luckily, you you have played this game before. You've been practicing, so you know how to level these characters up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Tarkus, Yuko, capture that. You run back for a bit. Okay. We should probably also capture that to have a resupply point. Oh, hello. <laughs> And my need is coming through. I am the Emperor's servant. My faith is like steel. Okay, should be in the clear Holy. from here. Excellent work, Commander. There is now sufficient power for you to close Angel Gate from the gatehouse. However, only a few mortar batteries have reactivated. Rousing additional generators will restore more defenses and make taking the gatehouse easier. The choice of tactics is yours, of course. One hand. Commander, Sergeant Merrick here. My men are moving up to the guard towers overlooking Angel Gate. We will provide covering fire when you make your advance on the gate house. Our case. Not entirely sure what that means because there were a bunch of yellow bits over here that just vanished, so <laughs> they either got themselves caught. Uh, wait, are you capturing it or not? Okay, we had a... Oh, he <laughs> hello there in chat, Pyro Sue. Uh, let's see, so hide the chat for me. <laughs> Hi, chat. Hello, chat! Okay, why can Okay, apparently we can't capture this one for some reason. Okay, then. Well, <laughs> that was a waste of time. On the ending war, another storm bolter. Uh, how are you doing, Sue? Well, I hope. Okay, let's quickly capture this. You don't um, want to steal it, not pyro? <laughs> or yeah, Sue, pyro, okay, whichever you prefer. You. <laughs> Wait, what? Or maybe I just get flashbacks to Team Fortress 2 for the very, very, very short time that I played that. Something in the uh, that was the Yoke I was A before. <laughs> Okay, we could go activate more generators, but I think we have enough to actually go get it.
Darkers, come help. Never mind. Okay. Everyone heal up a bit. And then we push for the gates. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a bunch of guardsmen spawning every time, but they get murdered <laughs> the moment that they gain that that they get into contact. I okay. better help them then. Okay. Tarkus, you know the drill. Give them some potatoes to chew on. Did you just one of these creatures? Here's Thul. Commander, you are near the gatehouse. Capture it to close a Very little about this dude is angelic. Here come the space marines. Give them covering fire. Okay, Avatus. Yeah, I remember this now. We need to capture the gatehouse, but that's going to take quite a bit. Also, how, how is the sound on your end, uh, Sue, or Pyro Sue? Again, whichever you prefer. Commander, we yeah, have had some... Uh, ...tyranid spores dropping near Angel Gate. An ally's forces are coming under attack. Yeah, we had some audio issues, and... At least for the both of us, it sounds like the audio is a lot softer. And yeah, you. This is going rather slow with that. Okay. Tarkus, yeah. grenades. Yeah, do you know, for my president, we have a rather high up volume at the moment. Listen, it does. It, it, I guess they hear the bullets flying, shoot at them, talking rather well. But once it. The gunfire is not so loud, and it's actually almost overwhelming, which was, I think, even on half volume. Yeah, I, I might need to do a test. Okay, audio is still progressing. Tarkus, shoot that down. Yeah, but it's just got knocked out of the blast range. Ah, crap, oh. Carnifax. The and yeah, during this fight... During this fight, whoever is capturing is, of course, as good as out of combat. Mm. Sarkis, go heal. <laughs> go heal him quick. Okay, he can still use his abilities, though. And quickly, before that degenerates completely. Okay, at least one of the Carnivaxes is gone. Ooh, more medicine. Yeah. Luckily, the ability is it's it's still be used. Actually, I remember this is not the last mission on this because, well, there's a, two things for us to grab here, or is one. The orc looters remain yes. a serious concern. Disabling the base generator speaks of some sort of plan. They must want something here. With your permission, I will oversee the mop-up operations. I do not want to lead anything to chance. Yeah, it was either the Tyranids or the Orcs that took out the Generators, and if the Orcs are being sneaky... ...then there's definitely something else up as well. Hello, last met cannon. <laughs> yep, apparently someone did go unconscious at the end there. Okay. And it's levels for <laughs> almost everyone. Hello, loot. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I get the feeling we're not going to be leveled Commander, enough. <laughs> a signal from Angel Forge. It is Sergeant Tarkus. Commander, we have spotted orcs making for storehouses north of Angel Gate. I think this may have been their goal all along. Commander, those are the private storehouses of House Vandis. Before his flight, the governor destroyed the records of what they contained. I can only imagine what weaponry he may have been hoarding, or the damage they could do in orc hands. 
She is right, Commander. We must stop those raiders. Okay, I think this might be the last mission for down this line. But first, levels. And yeah, Tarkus is away, so we can't use him. Let's see, Blade of Zeal. Uh, minus 52 armor rating, plus, plus 29 damage. Uh, that's going to be a nope. Blessed by Champlain Elizur on the eve of the Ninth Flagellant Heresy, this, this power sword's inscription reads, Let the stars die and mankind end before this sword returns unblooded to its sheath. Okay, dark. And of course the rest we can't use. Let's see, though. Yeah, level 15. We are definitely going a bit at this a bit too fast for the game's liking. Uh, I have no idea how to say this blasted word. Psalm? Psalm of the Warriors? Psalm? Okay, psalm? So the, we, okay, say, so the, we say Psalm. Okay, so the P is silent, likely. Uh, psalm of the Warriors. Blessed be the Warriors, brothers of steel and fury, those who stand against the enemies of man and carry forward his light into the darkness between the stars shall ever be in his, in his grace. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going down this line. And yeah, no real armor, new armor, new gear to equip. Though I will probably swap these out. Actually, this this one gives such a armor bonus that I think I'll keep that one. Um, but I'll have to give him a bolt or pistol to balance him out a bit. Some. This one, this is a two-handed bolter, so that's a no. Uh, Thaddeus, give up yours for a sec. There and there. Okay, Avatars, you keep going down that lane. Yeah, energy whenever he kills, so whenever he... Well, whenever he's focusing fire, he'll keep upping his own energy each time. And he can equip this one, the Plasma <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> yes! Yes! Let's see. Plasma cannons are very powerful heavy weapons, hurling massive bolts of superheated energy huge distances. They cause heavy damage and large detonations, making them effective against all targets. Their slow rate of fire and long range mean they are best used at a long range with a forward spotter. Let's give it a try, huh? <laughs> and Thule still is stuck with the basic stuff. I think he hit someone. <laughs> Sounds like it. Okay. Commander, you must return to Angel Gate. We cannot allow the Greenskins to acquire the weapons contained in the storehouses near the gate. If the Eldar smuggled the orcs onto Meridian as you suspect, it must have been for a purpose. Deploy your squads to rejoin Tarkas at Angel Gate. Okay. The Orc Force includes suppression teams, melee jump troops, and armored vehicles. Counting them with the diverse squad and war gear loadout. And we get... <laughs> we get the heavy meme. flavor! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and since Tarkus isn't here, we get to bring someone else along. So let's bring Cyrus up. <laughs> oh, speaking of... Cyrus of the Death Watch. Cyrus served in the Death Watch for nearly two centuries. While his unorthodox tactics had been considered eccentric by his fellow Blood Ravens, they were fully embraced by his squad mates in the Death Watch. Cyrus ended his tour of duty with the Death Watch after the Battle of Victoria Primus, and he was determined to bring all that he had learned back to the Blood Ravens. After decades of resistance from Captain Indrik Boreale, We've heard of them a few times. Cyrus finally requested to serve under Davian, uh, Captain Davian Thule. Thule was quickly convinced and soon began to implement many of Cyrus's tactics as a matter of course. Cyrus is no fool, Thule would often remark. There is a reason he chooses to remain a scout sergeant. In a few centuries there will, be, uh, will not be a blood raven left who hasn't been molded by his thinking. Greenskins to the north, heading for the storehouses. Yeah, that's why he's still a scout sergeant, so he can actually bring about change from the bottom up. Boss wants you to get the Yumi Sinius bits. Ooh, I love being a looter. Now we can get the best bits. We 
reopen the gate. <laughs> All that trouble about closing it. Oh dear. Here's the thing. Orcs will either steal and repurpose whatever they stole to, the, to a weapon, or they will just turn into scraps to make many things. Yeah. Like, they have turned super weapons into just scrap metal for other things just for they did not realize they had a super weapon. Okay, Tarkus is here. We need to move oh. up quickly. And we get five squads now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cyrus can hang back a bit. Okay, move out. Shouldn't be too much of a problem here clearing them out. Marcus. Okay, how much did they get already? Okay, not too much probably. For once, we need to recapture something from some other group. Okay, but there's more to this mission. It's not going to be as easy as walk over and capture that. We're going to need to deal with all of the orcs, I think. Hmm. I don't remember too much about this mission. Okay, just gotta uh, wait for I'm a bit. I'm surprised I'm not be and have not seen any Yin Steel Colts. I'm too used to sack targets being too. That's the thing, but I don't think I've ever seen Gene Steel Calls been added, uh, added to any of the uh, video games. This is no military it may be exception of one. These are relics of the chapter. Those items match the descriptions of relics long lost to the chapter. You should secure them and await extraction. Well, that's a surprise. Yep, this thing is filled with Blood Raven relics. So uh, you can guess what they want now. All of it. Relocate from the line of fire. Okay, that one went down pretty easily. And there was the heavy flame. Not the heavy flame, the heavy plasma. <laughs> And of course. Let nothing stop you, Eldar. Angel Gate is under attack. The Eldar. A witch, Idranel. It must be. Can't get a fix on him. What are they doing here? Commander, we'll need your help to repel the attack. This warehouse is full of relics stolen from our chapter. Your governor is a thief as well as a coward. I couldn't agree more, Sergeant. But the fate of Meridian still rests on holding Angel Gate. So yeah, now the question is, uh, do they learn about their history? She is right, Commander. We cannot allow Angel Gate to fall. I will hold off these aliens and guard our relics. Go save Angel Gate. <laughs> yeah, re rescue their history or rescue the, well, everything. But yeah, that is why we get a full squad and Tarkus for a bit. So yeah, we can do both. Oh, let me grab that. Steel of Dorn. Dorn sounds familiar. 
Wait, Grogo don't oh. mention that that's one of the Primarchs. <laughs> Primark of the Imperial Feast! <laughs> okay, then that definitely isn't from coming from the Blood Ravens. Well, is there a part of Dawn's uh, Legion? <laughs> okay, pretty sure that was a direct hit of the plasma bear. <laughs> I think I missed that due to all the damn rain! <laughs> the rain makes a lot of things it's hard to see. Standard of Meridian. <laughs> Fitting that we find that on well, the same damn planet. Yeah. Drawn is Imperial Fist. Uh, this means they are very good at fortifying. <laughs> and building. Well, it looks like if this was their work, yeah, you know, this yeah, this was Blood Raven work. Of course, it doesn't stand up. And I am your executioner. It takes tire power to do this. You will not reach Ivanel in time to stop the detonation. Detonation? They mean to destroy the forge. The forge and this entire world, human. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly <laughs> a lot bigger than this get rid of the orcs, huh? Oh Yeah, I think they wanna start out or delay the tyranids. Yep. yep. Cyrus there's still one. Oh well. There was one. <laughs> now there's just uh what's left on Fool's claw. <coughs> pardon? Okay, uh, this automatically yeah, it just automatically captured, so it'll count as an asset. Oop. Yes, the plans were correct. The forge's power supply is unstable. A simple chain reaction will wreath this world in fire. In Drinal, your wounds. The humans press in. Suffering and I are old friends, Warlock. See to the humans, and I will enact our final gambit to protect the craft world. My retinue's wards will keep me safe long enough. Of course, Ithamir. Eldar! Our Farseer prepares to strike against the enemy! Defend her at all costs! Okay. Commander, we are experiencing massive power fluctuations. Whatever is happening there, you must stop it. Yep. Of course, we get visitors from the sides. Yeah, this is what the Elder are driven to now that we've been foiling their plans. Yeah, but we say it's to protect the Croft world. But why? But Orcs would delay the units to give them time to blow up the planet, but. So if the tunis are already here, that would burn up a lot of the biomass. That was an execution we missed. My avatars... That thing isn't attacking us. What was it? I learned something recently. About why Tyrion... One of the, uh, the things Tyrion stood attack Necrons for. No. Besides the, do. besides the fact that they have... Any encounter will be at a net loss. Yeah, yeah most people remember it's due to, to them, they cannot ingest the metal, but there's another reason too. And that's the Nexon weaponry. No. Uh, when Nexon shoot you, it will destroy you on a molecular, molecular level. A molecular? Yeah, basically you... Yeah, almost nothing left. You disintegrate. Yeah, even more of a net loss. Yeah, for... Normally, there is no pyrrhic victory for units. If they lose a lot of things, but see the planet, they just reabsorb their own dead bodies. But I guess Necrons? Hmm. They're not getting those bodies back. Yeah. That was a bit odd. I could use the high-powered shot on the Wraith Lords, but that's an anti... 
infantry rounds. I don't even think you're supposed to be able to hit... You. I don't think you're even supposed to be able to target vehicles with that. But probably you can, yours might not be as effective. Eldar Grav Tank. Fire Prism Class. That cannon blew open the gate. Anti-armor tactics, now! Uh-oh. Fire on the Space Marines. The humans must not get through. Okay. Between Avatus and Thule, that should be done quickly enough. Cyrus, keep that thing down. Up and, well, there we go. Okay, where is Adrian now hiding? Up there she is. Okay, capture that quickly. The rest of you move on before uh, <laughs> before we're going to need some of my heat resistant suits. Secured. They shall not take it. Come on. She summons the powers of the warp itself. Target in sight. Okay. Oh, you can step in closer. More of them. <laughs> Kill them all. Destroy the space marines. Hold on where they stand. And of course, Edwin is hiding. Okay, where'd you go? Okay. Can we at least try to recapture this then for the moment? <laughs> Stop it from uh, becoming ooh, a planet sized uh, air fryer. Air fryer? No, 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 no. Move a literal grill. Electric grill. Or plasma grill. May harm the yep. so long as we live. Okay, probably should have saved up and waited a little bit with that <laughs> with that mighty strike. Yep. Okay, that was unfortunate. There. Beware her sorcery. Keep your distance. Okay, let's just fight focus on fighting her. Actually, time to make use of these again. Yep. Okay, gotta be careful because it was Tarkas. Tarkas is the one with the repair thing for Thule, so... Okay. More of those. Yeah, just look too weak when we had it, you know, we don't have Tarkas with us here, oh, gee gods. More of them. Kill them all. Okay, this is, this is all too close quarters. Yep, he found Terminator armor in there. Where did it yep. come from? It was a second piece of Bandus's collection. Now let us finish with these Xenos. And how the heck did that guy get that armor and relics? Good question. Tarkas, get over the... <laughs> he gets in with Terminator armor and he immediately goes to hide in the corner. Cyrus, keep capturing. 
And that uh, goes to Owen. Because for some reason Tarkas did yeah, had all of his stuff unequipped. <laughs> Can you capture and... Mm. Okay, get up. Marcus. Cyrus, keep capturing that. She is almost done. And there we go. Surprise lost to me. What a wondrous lesson to come from such primitives. I wonder if the bloody-handed god will teach you anything in turn. Why, witch? Why seek to doom these worlds? You never asked yourself where this high fleet was bound for next. Unless we stopped it here. It would next feed upon Eldar. Surely even you can see. Three human worlds was a small price to pay to save a craft world. Save your excuses, witch. Angel Forge is secure, and your life is at its end. <laughs> Bonk. And yeah, can stop the crusade of the righteous. that was the entire deal why the Elder were up to this. Yeah. Again, people, many factions are not good. There are very few exceptions to the rule. And now we have power. No, we already have power. We have Terminator armor now. <laughs> okay. Commander, I commend you on your leadership in this crisis. You have made very significant progress in your battle with the High Fleet. And the death of Idranel has finally put an end to Eldar operations in the sector. I hope it has, Captain. But I am not so certain. Regardless, securing Angel Forge means we now have a means to produce weapons for our battle against the Tyranids. With Angel Forge secure and the biotoxin sample from Typhon Hive in our hands, the battle goes well. It will all be for naught, however, if we cannot find a weak point in the High Fleet itself. You must recover the astronomic data from the Tech Priest station on planet Typhon. The chapter. The Sector and the Imperium <laughs> itself are counting on you, Commander. And thank you for saving Meridian, Commander. I have issued a warrant for the former Governor's arrest and confiscated all of House Vandis' holdings. We will conduct a thorough search for any additional Blood Raven relics. You should find my administration to be much more cooperative. DeRosa, out. And that is how an administrator <laughs> becomes governor. <laughs> okay, heavy flamers. Heavy flamers are terminator issue combat flamethrowers. Like standard flamers, they are excellent at dealing with targets in cover or in structures. Uh, in structures. Storm bolters, the standard range weapon on terminator armor. A storm bolter is essentially two bolters firing as one. Uh, <clears throat> Like its smaller cousin, it is highly effective against infantry units, but unlike the standard bolter, it's also viable against armor targets. Okay, and yeah, Terminator armor. <laughs> Terminator armor is a powerful relic of the chapter. Space Marines equipped with this armor become nearly unstoppable warriors. Terminators are immune to suppression, but can only equip specialized weapons. These include powerful storm bolters, thunder hammers, and more. And, yeah, the assault cannon that Thule still can't use, I believe. Okay. Well, Tarkis has a well-deserved upgrade, so... Oh I'm going to get another drink. Okay. Yeah. Here is the armor. Level 12, Ages of Hur 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 Hurios. Okay. Nearly double the armor rating of what we now have. Let's see, plus six, 160 health, 28% explosive damage resistance, plus 6 melee skill, 
<clears throat> suppression immunity and cannot be knocked back. Sergeant Hurios of the Blood Ravens, 3rd Company, wore this Terminator armor from the Battle of Luvemar until his sacrifice at the end of the Tartarus campaign. It bears his personal hel heraldry. Okay. But yeah, like it said though, you be. <clears throat> We can only you equip Storm. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, this armor must be absolutely horrible for someone's back. Plus, the you have to admit, the opening looks like a, a toilet with the lid up. Oh, come on. I think but... you can see that the Starcraft definitely took inspiration from Warhammer. Yeah. So actually, again, not many people know this, but Blizzard were originally meant to do Warhammer games, but the contract fell through, so they rewrote Warcraft from being a Warhammer game to a Warcraft game. And I would not be surprised if something similar happened to Starcraft. Okay. But yeah, similar to how someone in Tom that Terminator armor can only use Terminator weapons, they can't use normal ex accessories anymore either. They do get access to the Cyclone Missile Launcher, like that. Oh, good gods. And, but... and we could fool a walking tank. <laughs> yeah. Though I think, I think Tarkus is a lot more useful in power armor, since, well, he can chuck around grenades all the time. Speaking of, where are the grenades? There they are. Let's see. Can anyone else use Terminator armor? Uh, let's see. Tarkus, Force Commander Thaddeus, and Avatus. So basically everyone except Cyrus and Thule. Should we give you Terminator armor? Let's see. Level 14... Level 15 on that, level 17 on that. Okay, <laughs> guess I was wrong about the max level of this game being 20 or 15 before. But there is... We can equip that one. So, there. And then we can put on the Thunder Hammer and shield. <laughs> oh, holy! Wait, wait, it's... I think they oversized it by accident. That's supposed to be a two-hander, not... Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see. Oh. Ooh, even plus one in the strength discipline. Let's see. In honor of the third company's veterans... Uh, in honor of the third company veterans' ceaseless fight against the chapter's enemies, Sergeant... Th Thantheus received this Mastercraft of Thunder Hammer and Shield after the Tartarus campaign. So many references back to the Tartarus campaign, huh? Yeah. Okay. But we can't equip most of these, though. So that is a slight... A slight bad thing. Uh, might as well read this one out, since we probably won't be picking it up anytime soon. The Standard of Meridian... 43 energy, 4 melee skill, 22 suppression resistance to nearby allies. Okay. Uh, during the first pacification of Habspire Legis, the Blood Ravens found evidence of a debased cult among the corrupt political machine of the ruling caste on Meridian. During the week-long engagement, the Spire's administratum complex was breached and evidence was found of links to the ruinous powers. For their valor and aid, the governor awarded the chapter the planet standard. Okay. Let's see. Any new armors here? Abjuration of Fear. I don't think we've read this one. Uh, and lo, the heretic was brought down by fear. As the weak-minded cower under fire from her devastators, we stride forward undaunted into glorious combat. Excerpt from the purity seals adorning this mastercrafted power armor. Okay, that's that's a 10-point boost. Ooh, someone looking flashy. Okay. Holy. Yeah, that's very... Okay. Careful! <laughs> don't have him shoot us now! Let's see, and I don't think any of these other armors are new that we can equip... Uh, oh, uh, that we can't equip. Let's see, this one looks interesting. 
Uh, Mercy of Ross and Steel of Dor. Yeah, the, those are definitely looted from other wait, chapters. Wait, wait. Can you read out the title again of that item? Mercy of Ross and Steel of Dorn. Mercy of Ross. Um, you yep, know that's that another is, right? Primark. <laughs> yes, Lehman Ross. Primark of the Space Wolves, aka Space Vikings. Yep. No, the let's people see. People used to love them, but maybe are a bit grown before. They, they used to be a bit white, more Viking, but they become over the years more wolf fanatics than Vikings. Like everything is wolf, 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 and people are getting a bit. Like they brought the more wolf Viking out. side back. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Just, just normal armor so they can go. Thaddeus. Let's see, I don't think you get anything new. 26, 28. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Who was Avitus again? Avitus is the heavy weapons. Let's see. Thule, can you equip anything new? No, you still can't other than this. Uh, though I think I'll throw that out. Actually, we probably should throw a few more things out that we can't we could, equip. I guess we could at some moment give Avatus the Terminate armor if need to be. Mm, yeah. Let's see. This one is uh, melee focused, but since it has melee skills, I think we can find other Terminator armors. Uh, so there is likely one with melee, with range damage bonus. Uh... uh the Terminator Orm had 100% suppression fire resistance. Yep. So it is literally impossible to... Yep. Complete immunity. Alright, so yeah. Hmm. Means we can actually send you face to face whenever someone tries to suppress your fire at us. See, I think we can throw out all of these other armors. Like some are a little bit more armor, but I think the bonuses make them more useful. The others more useful. So let's let's just quickly look over these righteous and true glory of Mateel. Carapace of war. I think we've read all of these. So here we go. And Thule gets a level. This that that's what I was hoping for. Okay, sort this a bit. Pool and Osiris. Two. Okay, uh, is that? Yeah, I'm. Th I'm going to keep this one around just for the armor rating. Okay, Cyrus, up that. He is almost next level. He can get Mark targets, so he becomes a boss killer by just adding a, a damage bonus. Ancient Defender. So now he has his auto heal or self repair, which is going to be useful, especially when we forget to bring the freaking rights of repair. Rights of repair. Oh, <laughs> so, so something we needed earlier. Definitely, but Tarkus had them and left them behind. I swear. I was like, on one of our first PlayStation consoles, we was PlayStation One, we bought for a friend. You saw us a one that was a bit faulty. We actually had to use a straw for the plug that's supposed to push down a button when you close down the lid. Was bent. Okay. We had to use a straw, but we also have a game killer, which is a way to to play burnt games back then. Because it also be right to play. Games that was not burned for some reason, for it was kind of that weird. In some games, you basically had to do a ritual, like you had to turn off the the burn game. You would have to do restart it two or three times for free to work. Yeah. Okay. Or do like you restart it, wait five seconds, fifteen, then restart it, then it would, like each game was different. You had to do a bloody ritual. Okay, just throwing out the 
commander stuff, since we won't likely won't be using any of that. Just double checking if I've read this one before. Uh, chapter Battle Standard. The Battle Standard for the Blood Ravens' Fourth Company celebrates that unit's most that, uh, celebrates that unit's most famous victories against the world bearers, the uh, world uh, bearers, traitor uh, marines on Cronus, and against the orc arc, uh, orc uh, arc marauder Borger on Thranthius Three. Okay. Wait, what did, uh, Borger? Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't want to... Do people still... I don't know if people really download games uh, from torrents and stuff anymore. I definitely don't. Sense. Is it easy to just buy a game through Steam or... Uh, or just download it nowadays? Through alternative means than to... Yeah, you know. Yeah. Also, okay, it's, I'm pretty sure it still happens, but there's a lot more watch on it. Yeah, as well. People have learned that it, it, it. Sure, it's free. For a reason. Yeah, there's also the chance that it's just filled with, uh, yeah, with viruses and such. Exactly. That's why I phrase it like that. For a reason. Like it's. Commander, free, we but finally located the orc who not worth the it. Maybe. Indeed, array. not worth it. This orc is a mad alien who has been fused into one of their obscene war machines. This greenskin calls himself Ripper Splitter and is obsessed with technology. Destroy this alien walker and recover the location of the astronomic array. This is our only hope of finding a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet, Commander. Okay, destroy orc structures. Yep. Eliminate Ripper Splitter to recover the data slate. Troops with anti-armor uh, weapons defend this target. Uh, Generators and hands. Okay, uh, so they have <laughs> they have anti uh, dead dreadnought weaponry. So I think we leave Thule behind. Actually, I don't want to leave him behind because he'll get less experience. And really? it can get into quite a gap if we leave. Yeah, really, it's pretty those? evenly so really? far. I thought it was to make, make a big sneeze there. Let's see. Let's bring the rocket launcher. <laughs> Oof, it, it did not hit anyone. Okay, queue them up. Hold shift when issuing orders to queue up commands. Your units will follow your orders in the sequence you choose. Okay, nice, but I don't think it's too useful with how... Uh, just contact with the enemy tends to throw every plan out of order. Yeah. It... Charming. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Could probably find work as a dentist. Eliminate those orcs. Oh, shh. It do. Okay, immediately a tank and a generator. And also here, folks don't really have dentists, and... Yeah, the, the teeth are their currency. Yeah, they just regrew teeth. And apparently the teeth will rot away, hence they will not have inflation, really. <laughs> okay. Yeah, tank should go any second now. There we go. Okay, everyone face this way. Avatars focus, focus the generators. Okay. And there's the force commander. Uh, Tarkus. Never mind. Let's throw a grenade over there, please. Yep, they moved away. Okay, and despite being in Terminator armor, he can still charge through places. Avatus. Avatus. What is the idiot doing up close? <laughs> he flew! What? 
Aim that way and start shooting. That... I don't get what he was up to with that. Okay. Parkers, pull back. Okay, you cleared a path for him. I said cleared a path. So we'll strike uh, once you're done showing off, please. Okay, it's a good thing we put on that Terminator armor, huh? <laughs> In such a hot yeah. landing zone. Okay, so... You take care of the banner. You come back. Take that out. There, that's a... Grenade won't work on that. Okay, once that generator is down, it should be easier to deal with these. Okay. Move forwards. You shoot that. Uh, Meltabons do not work against buildings, no. Actually, cut down uh, some headache, please. Okay, Tarkus, clear that building out. Avatus, break that banner. Okay, this is a, this is a relatively Hello. small map. Boy. We literally landed on Rip Kit and split us a front door here. Contraption. Deploy anti vehicle yeah, there he is. Avatus, change targets, focus fire, and might as well hit. Okay, that's one of which... them. It's all gone. Yeah, one of the Marines there got uh, bleed in half. There's a moon there. I was trying to figure out which clan these are, but. Are these bad moons? Oh, could be. Oh, they have another color. And there goes Avatus. Oh, Sewell. Sewell's on the fire. Tarkus, clear that stupid building out. I asked you five minutes ago or something. Others, once you crack his shell. Okay, everyone pull back. Do they just keep crawling back into this <laughs> building or something? <laughs> if everyone orc at the tower before it crumbled, and he orc bounced. Okay, everyone forwards. Tarkus. Park tools ask for a second and heal him. Or not. That, now that falls apart. Okay, there's a shrine over there that we should probably try to capture. It does mm -hmm. bad news and evil sons. And I, I was wondering if these were the evil sons, but I guess not. Parker is no, Avatus, go break the banner. I'll take that. You you go no, no don't attack move there. You move there. I think that armor should be good enough to have him survive whatever's going to be thrown at him along the way there. Hopefully. Yeah, as long as that generator here is left intact, the mission will go on a bit more, I think. Because I think it only really counts the generators, uh, the enemy spawners. Uh, 
Hmm. Okay. Everyone moves this way. Up another, another can. Oh, that's that is quite a lot more than I was actually expecting. <laughs> Are you burning still, damage? Yep. I, oh, I think I the can is the only one dealing major damage here. Okay, Tarkus, clear that out. Avatus, just find the firing line. Soul, smash it. Okay, what are you doing here? Slacking. Get moving. Okay, last medical kits. Throw a grenade in there. And that's the can gun as well. Okay. Should be able to get enough resources from all of these. Okay, these two. I thought I saw more of them there. Yep, and that's slow down. Oh well. Oh dear. Yeah, probably was a bit of a bad idea to bring him out when it specifically said that there's a lot of anti-vehicle stuff, but I will. Yeah, I probably had, should have had him stop to get some repairs earlier. Darkus, clear that out. There we go, straight down the mouth of the thing. Okay, now go bring him back. Okay, I think you can just go capture. Tarkus. Oh wait, you're getting knocked back from these guys. Okay. Hail of Fury. Continue capturing. Okay, these are being real annoying with their knockback. You come clear them out. Okay. Harkers clear those out. And yeah, then let's let's finish this mission. There, and that should be the last one. Tarkus, bring him up on his feet. Okay, and then we go resupply our... Go, yeah. Go resupply a bit. Okay. There. And now... Oh, there, okay, there's three here. Okay. Maybe a bit of a waste of time, but oh well. We get more resources. And the generator is being destroyed as we talk. Okay, I was right. That was the last one. Also, it probably would have been smarter of me to read out the loot that, as it pops up here, well, on here and the next screen, since then I don't have to check out which we have and haven't read. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> drop pod beacon allows reinforcements to arrive via drop pods. In addition to replacing fallen squad members, a drop pod can be a powerful weapon in its in and of itself, crushing those caught underneath it, beneath it. And yeah, reinforces all nearby squads, damages the target, at, but cannot be replenished on the field. So that's probably a one-time use per mission. And still, that's a <laughs> dropping a freaking meteorite on top of something. <laughs> okay, but we wait, didn't wait, wait, get any loot, loot. Yeah. Let's see. Hand of Fury, Terminator Power Fist, plus one strength. 
Chaplain Chaplain Shadur's Shadur's legendary zeal was such that he strode into battle without a ranged weapon to better come to grips with his foes. The crackling power field that surrounds this mighty weapon is said to, re to eternally burn with his holy rage. Some basic armor, hail of fury. Before a storm, before a space marine is blessed with Terminator armor, he receives extensive training in his unique weaponry. Once Terminator honors are earned, a space marine is expected to forever be the pinnacle of his chapter's ideals and his health to the highest standards. Okay, Avatus and the commander got an upgrade or a level. Good work, commander. We have recovered the stolen data slate and eliminated a major orc threat. But was the recovered data of any use? It was, Cyrus. I have determined the location of the Astronomic Array and uploaded it onto the planetary map display. In order to recover any data on the Hive Fleet, you will need to align the array from the ground, Commander. Okay, so now we know where it is. Uh, Tunit Active Meridian Typhus Saldere. <laughs> yeah, we oh, didn't get enough of a score to get another deployment. We're like, well, we still have a deployment now, but still. <clears throat> uh, actually, no, that's because it's a new day, I believe. Uh, livestock slaughtered. Herds of livestock being found slaughtered across a large area of Typhon Primaris. The predators seem to match the Hormagon genotype. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so, yeah, because our score wasn't good enough to get a second deployment on day 15. So that all of that happens. Okay. I probably should play through this game once more after we're done with this just to see all the little tech all the little uh, lore bits. I'm not I wouldn't call it lore, but the uh description stuff and such. Yeah, I guess you could call it story bits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no mercy, no respite. While, bat uh, <clears throat> while battle cry is active, the force commander's hand-to-hand -hand strikes give killing blows to most infantry. Other enemies are knocked back. Let's keep going on to that. And let's see, we have unending war here. After the end of the, Man of the Macharian heresy, the Blood Ravens chapter master had this and other key chapter weapons engraved with reminders to distrust those who would claim to bring an end to the eternal war for mankind's survival. Okay. And yeah, the Hill of Fury we already read. Though we're going to keep him melee, so there's no use for those storm bolters yet until we find the second pair. Do you say the Hill of Fury? Hail of Fury. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let's see. <laughs> I think we have about what we really want from this, so I think we could just go down the energy route more, or we could give him some more health. Uh, oh, right, he needs Terminator Honors to be able to use Terminator Armor himself, so let's go up this line. Should still be able to get that before the max. Let's see. Two, four, six, yeah. Four levels, one short of the maximum, I'm presuming, and he can use power armor, Terminator armor. Um, <laughs> because they walk around in that power armor by standard, you kind of get a, a bit used to calling it just normal armor. <laughs> still no level 14 for the Dreadnoughts, so still no, well, still no auto you know, assault cannon. Hmm. We could probably sacrifice some of these older things here. Let's see. Prized of the Iron Wolf. For unknown reasons, Iron Priest Bjorkstern of the Space Wolves uh, briefly accompanied the Blood Raven forces during the Exodite purges of uh, Kading Prime. After one bloody battle, the Iron Wolf looked on this power armor, uh, the power, the power, power axe, and called it a fine prize. Okay. 21 armor rating, 11 melee damage, and a quite high knockback resistance as well. Hmm. I think I'll actually swap that out for the Iron Fist. Hmm. And I think we can actually sell some of these other extras, since we're probably not getting him out of this armor. 
and we don't want anyone else in melee. So let's say let's save the iron at fist. Uh, 44.5 is less damage, but... Uh, no, actually... <laughs> same speed, same accuracy. Uh, oh, right, that's minus 52 armor, so definitely bringing that out. Um, there. Keep the plasma pistol for now in case we need him to be more anti-vehicle, though we already have Tarkus and Thule for that. But just in case. Um, wait, what is that? Fierce. Let's see. Fearsome light of faith. The light of the emperor shall be brought to all corners of the galaxy, and his chosen warriors wield this mighty weapon against his enemies. Translated from the high gothic inscription on this plasma gun. Okay, but it's only usable by the force commander, so that makes it quite useless to keep around. Marcus gains a level. Hmm. Let's see. Let's... Yep. Yeah. Here. Hmm. Let's actually give you the flamer now that you can actually move while using it. And... Let's see. Undeniable Hammer of Truth. Okay, not usable with Terminator armor. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll pop him out of the armor at one point just to see how he would fight with this. A thunder hammer. <clears throat> uh, other than that, Cyrus. It's, it's the Emperor's Justice and Fierce and Judgment. Another uh, I think we've read that one. Based on the Slayer pattern shotgun, this weapon came to the Blood Raven chapter when Junior Arbiter Ferex Liddell won the blood trials on Typhon in M M M M nine eighty seven nine seventy eight M thirty nine. M39 means Millennium thirty nine. Yeah. Let's see. It has worse damage than the other shotgun, even though they're the same level. Hmm. Suppression resistance? Okay. Now that I plan to give Tar... Cyrus... Why do I keep messing up their names so much? Now that I plan on giving him a shotgun, I'll still keep it as an option. And yeah, just sort all of this out a bit. Uh, unerring retribution. Those space marines who forego the protection and position that comes you know, with the, their suit of power armor are rare and often misunderstood. Many make the mistake of thinking these veterans to be mere scouts rather than warriors. Those same warriors are often amazed when their own lives are saved countless times by those whose valor they once questioned. <laughs> uh, okay. More health, more sight range. And yeah. what was else there? Uh, movement speed. Yeah, it's not much, but still, I think it'll be. I think the. I think them sprinting is sometimes messing with their pathfinding. So let's get rid of that. And getting oh so damn close to that level fourteen on Thaddeus here. That, <laughs> okay, at this point, I think I might as well start <laughs> a compilation of every time I misname them. I will not be surprised. Let's see, just throw out all the base armor. 10% uh, melee damage. Hmm... Uh, Armor rate is things nearby allies. Do we have enough time for another mission? Uh, should have enough time for one more. Hopefully that will get him a level. Uh, let's see. Remains of the Dark Age and an optional one. Let's see. We're not running out of time with any of these. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go here then. Commander, we finally have the location of the Astronomic Array. The Array is powered, but we cannot establish a clear communications link with it. You must get to the Array. 
and manually upload its data on the Tyranid Swarm. This will allow us to find a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet. Okay. Very large numbers of hostile creatures, and orcs are already there. And we get another Thunder Hammer. Doom of Traitors. <laughs> Definitely a name. Okay, right weapons for the job. Vehicles are highly resistant to small arms fire. Both their fire won't do much. Use anti-vehicle weapons such as melter bombs and missile launchers instead. This ancient astronomic array holds one of the keys to victory against the Tyranids. With its data, we can uncover weaknesses of the Hive Fleet. We must secure the array before others do. Okay, I, I was already starting to suss out its form from the the arm, or one of its arms. It looked Wait, a bit too spiky. Wait. And again we get denied the, the impact. North of your position, Commander. Oh, good God. And I, I, I almost fell. I also... I was prepping for a jump scare. <laughs> Okay. Everyone push forwards. Now, yeah, everyone's almost everyone is stuck behind Grandpa and <laughs> Thule. Something is hunting orcs. Stay alert. Yeah, of course. You can get it a little bit closer than that. Okay, it's actually pretty good that we give him a flamethrower. Why are you equipped with plasmas now? Probably because of the upgrades that... Well, that upgraded them. But I do... That, I wonder if that lowers their effectiveness against normal infantry. How bark of fate? It sends, it's still plasma. True, but more... That's more aimed against heavy infantry. Okay, just keep pushing. There. Darkers, grenades. Yeah, his grenades are so freaking useful that I. I honestly think it's better to keep him out of the, out of the Terminator armor. Oh dear. Oh, she needs squishing. Yep. Immediately it pops into the fog of war. Okay, we'll squish you for you, sure. Okay, toss a melt off its pipe. Okay, Tarkas, back in it. Nope. Avatars, pull back. Oh, going for a spin. Or a stomp. Okay, this shouldn't take two. Don't know what that is, don't want the gnome. Yep. Okay, is that supposed to be asteroids falling down? Asteroids and the uh, rockets. Okay, so probably just uh, orc artillery. 
Okay, refill our stock and move on. And yeah, since we uh, we started both late and well to figure out how to solve the stupid issues. Sealed gate commander. Mm. Attempt priests and song power generators to activate the ancient gates into the fortress, Commander. Cabling will lead to the generator. Simple this enough. Nope. And of course. Ambush. Take cover. We are suffering. What was that thing? Tyranid, definitely. Some sort of camouflage. Whatever it is, it has the blood of a fallen brother on its talons. Emperor be with you, brother. Okay, was that a lick term? Well done. The gate is opening, Commander. If this is Mr. Variant, what will we get to see soon, uh, what kind of it, uh, it is? If I do recall there is camouflaging was just got the name. But it could be a lictor. A special variant of a lictor. Not the best place for a grenade, seeing as there's those to clear up, but I will. There. Okay. Yep. Die. All of you. Die. Under attack. Okay, at least they're fighting their, each other as well. So that's all the more for us. It's just a, a rather simple animation for that. Looks like milk. Tarkus, go knock on the front door. Yes, someone got thrown into the river. <laughs> okay, and that's this mopped up. Yep, that. I meant for avatars to do that, but I will. Okay. Gotta wait a sec for a reinforcement. That can't be good. Release. Release. Okay. And yeah, avatars now has this ancient defender. It does shut him down, but at least it's better than, well, having to revive him. Oh, I just remembered something about the first... Uh Reported tyranny invasion. No. Or tyrant. They had mm. four cannons. Uh, the, the cannons that had some of the uh, at bay. Like the massive ones. Oh. Yeah, of course. Check on your ray, quickly. Go on. Uh, if, I forgot how they destroyed the first the other ones, but the first one they did something unexpected. Right, did they go underneath it? it? It's, no, but they, they, it's not like they had done though. The type called gargoyles just all swarmed into the barrel and plugged it. <laughs> it's so okay, it that's also a way. <laughs> that works, I guess. Greenskins made a mess of this. Are you seeing this, Tech Marine? Yes, and it is no welcome sight. The orcs have removed a key power coupling. You must recover that coupling. We have coordinates for the orc looters, Commander. Okay, now we have to chase after these assholes. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, never underestimate 
the orcs and Tudor needs it, actually. There's a lot of things you should never underestimate in, uh, in 40k. Definitely. Okay. But I do feel like, due to uh, other game developers overhyping Space Marines so much, people have started uh, underestimating the other factions. Yeah, and you said they will use. Uh, You said earlier something about no games or none of the games having genes to look called. So there is, uh, yeah, there's no genes to look called, but the the Death Hawk, the, was it? Is it called Death? Those those have um, gene stealers at the least, but no. Oh yeah, yeah. They had gene stealers, but I think one of them they had some kind of gene cycle that it with a mutated human. It's probably one of the rare few that has it. Yeah. And we have we have camouflaged orcs. <laughs> they must oh, be, they must have painted themselves purple. <laughs> the same idea. <laughs> oh gosh, I must have forgot a comic that's on YouTube. But uh, orc okay. was in a bar, and then someone finally spotted him. It must be with another of the mechs. Who? Yeah, and the wolf was wondering, wait, how long have you been, have you been sitting here waiting? Uh, for a few weeks, but now the bartender haven't noticed I was been here all along. <laughs> it was fully painted in purple and camo. Uh, of course, and we're stocked up. Okay, there's another one. And the only reason was the life was for him very much drank and ate any scraps that the people, the other orcs left behind, and no one noticed. <laughs> Surprised they didn't just steal it off someone's plates. And again, that's assuming it works even half plates. You probably do. There, eliminate that orc mech. You plate me storm, boys. Yeah, nasty. They're not nasty enough <laughs> for us. <laughs> Definitely when they group up. And down the cliff. Return to the array. Oh, whoa. Four corpses. Okay, and that was the coupling. So let's just put the fuse back into this thing. Mm, yeah, th <laughs> this thing is basically millennia old. It's like probably from the Golden or Dark Age. Probably. Either way, they don't know how to make them anymore, as they do, well, don't know anymore for most things. Yeah, and if they do, then it may. <laughs> So this already commonly, like, when they finally do know how, is quickly misplaced their horrible bookkeeping. Yep. Like, you, you lose track where the damn things are. Data upload beginning. Well done. I now have a control link to the array and am receiving data. You may proceed to the extraction point indicated on your map. Yep. Right back over there. That's where we just came from. Commander, I am accessing the array tower short range scanners. I have located the lictor and can track it if you wish. Yes, let's destroy that beast. The decision is yours, Commander, but we have accomplished our mission. I had a feeling it'd be up here. It's probably be a good idea to do that. Yeah, especially for the <laughs> the experience, since Thule definitely needs every point he can. Because I really just want him to have his assault cannon. Yeah, and now we know it is a, a lictor. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it does yeah, seem like he stops a bit short from where I click with the charge, but I will. Is there, didn't you say something about the... Uh, the stream today? About uh, us uh, stalking late? Mm, yeah, we can go a bit longer, but I'd say, yeah, with how it is, we'll probably still call it after this mission. Yeah, Not for... that this should take long. Yeah, since so it's it getting late. <laughs> yeah, especially for me. Since I do... Of the streams, I usually have about one hour prepared with brushing teeth and such. They just brush YouTube through my TV, then uh, fall asleep. 
but <laughs> they turn it, it, it things off before falling asleep, obviously. Yeah. Yoink. Focus, focus. Yep. And off it goes. Oh, no, I'm having predator flashbacks here. Yeah, the fucker healed. Nearby. There! And without its wounds, it heals while hidden. Under attack. Heals while hidden. Oh, no. Okay, that just means that we have to destroy all of its hiding places. To conceal itself. We should take away the beast's cover, Commander. You say that. Eliminate that target. They're pitting that target as a flamethrower for this. And there it was. We, we saw it jump there. Okay, everyone. Don't forget the other full edge. Danger close. Yep. <laughs> Still a bit here. I did tell you. <laughs> I just told you. There. But you no ignored it. The <laughs> now I didn't hear it over all of the gunfire and everything. Oh, blame the gunfire. Our new brother dies unavenged, Cyrus. That is our way. Duty comes before vengeance, Avatus. Anything less shames us before the Emperor. Victory! Avatus is such a dwarf. Let our enemies beware, for victory is ours. Okay. And Did we get... get to pick up that item there on the ground? Yeah, I think it still gets collected uh, at the end. I think okay. So. Everything killed, everyone survived, and. Okay, good enough on speed as well. <laughs> Second time and two additional deployments available. And still got his level. Fine, frickingly. Okay, let's see. Public of Fate. Set the glow warmly on certain feast days. This power armor was worn by the Blood Raven Adrian when he, when, bleh, when he defended the Abbey of Saint Irene against the Black Legion. I think we've heard of that fight before. Adrian fell into a death-like state during which the Abbey's Holy Sisters prayed over his body. Adrian arose during the vigil of Sister Claire, who, is set, you know, who would later become canoness of the Order of the Lost Rosetta. Okay. Um, not sure what Canon S means, but it's high position, I presume. Yeah. <clears throat> I, only time I've heard of Canon S is from the Sister of Battle. Okay. Tenth Company of Honors. Emblazoned with the laurels of victory and seals of service, this armor is awarded to a member of the Tenth Blood Ravens Company who has displayed the mixture of valor and resourcefulness prized by the chapter scouts. Uh, standard bolter, standard. Uh, yep. Oh, finally a blue again. And yeah, this is the one we picked up. We got... Yeah, this is the one I dropped at the end, I think. Angel of Silence. This suit of scout armor incorporates the finest camo cloak, advanced uh, targeting links, and sound dampening material. When Inquisitor Arkan of the Ordo Xenos found himself beset by cultists at the night planet uh, Tenar Prime, his life was saved by a Blood Raven scout assigned to the sector. The Angel of Silence was commissioned posthumously in honor of that unnamed scout, whose final fate was never recorded. He probably managed to sneak out. <laughs> okay. Orbital Bombardment Beacon. Excellent against all targets, can hit multiple. Use this beacon to relay coordinates to the Armageddon's orbital, orbital Bombardment Guns. Their barrage is devastating, but can only be used once per deployment. Effective against all. And the Doom of Traitors. Battle Brother Jacob paused long enough to gather what little remaining strength uh, remained as his, life's, as his lifeblood spilled from a gaping wound. He stared at the former Space Marine, long fallen to chaos, in the eyes and spoke, I am the Doom of all traitors, and I shall be your end, as he shattered the Alpha Legion Warrior's upraised blade. 
<laughs> okay. <clears throat> Commander, the data you recovered from the astronomic array has allowed us to find a critical weakness in the High Fleet. The High Fleet is controlled by a single massive creature that sits at the center of the fleet. If we manage to destroy it, the rest of the High Fleet will scatter and will be an easy target for our own fleet. We now have all the components necessary to mount a major strike at the High Fleet invading the sector. The Litany of Fury will arrive in system in a matter of days. We will then equip our new weapons and mount an attack on the Hive ship that guides the entire Hive fleet. Not all news is good, however. Our surviving librarians say the Hive mind has become aware of our approach. It is likely to throw its most potent forces at key locations across the subsector. It remains to you to hold the sector until we arrive. Angelos out. <laughs> Yeah, all of this, every fight against the Tyranids, has been without them even paying attention to us. And well, now it's now we have its attention. Yeah, that probably ate someone who knew this. Definitely, there's been enough. Uh, there's been enough Space Marines that they've killed, and I'm pretty sure they'd be able to get the info out of one of their corpses. And yeah, finally, <laughs> Tool has the assault cannon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's actually work towards this, the Hail of Fury, because this comes with its own skill here. Assault cannon barrage. Cover an area with a devastating hail of shells. <laughs> and he's still melee capable. Just less so now. But yeah, definitely going to work up towards that. <laughs> and the last there. Mark target. Any targets yeah, Cyrus engages in becomes marked. Okay. And yeah, might as well max that out. And yeah, we are getting towards the end of the game. And yeah, now we basically just have to survive. <laughs> Literally, objective survive. But okay, that will have to wait um, for next time, though. More, uh, uh, more deployments from this. Yeah. Now it like now it would actually be smarter to not do as well in missions to make it go faster. But we'll see how that goes. So. Oh, that's right. Do hmm. it for the levels. <laughs> True, and because all the levels we get here we will be able to keep in Chaos Rising. But for now, let's exit the game and go look for someone to raid then. So, Village. browser. Uh. And then change screen share there and there, go live. Okay, which directory and let's see who are online. Quite well, a lot of people are online, so I think we'll just have to tone it down a bit. Uh, let's see. People we know. Nico is doing art. Nice is playing Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, Pika is playing Team Fight Tactics, which is one of those auto chess things. I, I can't really say I have any interest in that at all. Um... Anyone you you anyone you see here that you'd like to raid? Apparently, that new Sonic game came out, Sonic Superstars, because I see a bunch of people play that. Hmm. Bunch of people doing mm. art. What's Bokura? Okay, is this some sort of multiplayer game? Hmm. Okay, yeah, this this must be a co-op game of sorts where two players see different things because I'm, one is seeing cute animals, the other is seeing machines. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, any suggestions or shall I pick? I'll let you pick if I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, I think we raided nice recently, so let's go raid Cora Dust. I'm a bit curious about this game. <laughs> All right. All right, slash raid and paste. 
But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pyrosu. <clears throat> and okay, we don't have our usual <laughs> lurker around. So yeah, thank you, Pyro, and thank you as always, Vic here. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And yeah, a shorter stream due to yeah technical difficulties, bullshit. But at least that's out of the way. Uh, I was hoping to do a multiplayer stream tomorrow, but I got the fill-in for someone, so they won't be able to do that unless we do it late in the evening. Uh, but then mm, we'll see. I was hoping, I was, I was wanting to do Borderlands, but uh, yeah, with me having to fill in for someone, we won't have the time for that. Maybe something in the evening, though. And of course, there will be more Dawn of War 2 on Thursday. I think we'll probably be able to finish the game. And if so, we can move on immediately to Chaos Rising, I'd say. I, I think, should we mark it differently than the rest of this? Or just continue it on? Like, uh, yeah. It would be good to mark it differently so people know. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. The throat is acting up. Either way, though, let's get that raid started then. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you all again for watching. An hour later. And, yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls. And, and tyrannids. <laughs> <laughs>